Sperm banking is the process of storing your sperm before starting cancer treatment. Sperm banking centers store sperm in small tubes at very low temperatures in special freezers. This section will help you understand what you can expect if you decide to bank your sperm. When a person banks his sperm, it's important to store as much healthy sperm as possible. For this reason, it's best not to have sex or masturbate for 48 hours before you bank sperm. That's because the sperm count might not have had enough time to build up. On the other hand, if it's been a really long time since having ejaculated, the sperm count could also be a little lower. The best sperm collections are produced 48 to 72 hours after the last ejaculation. This is when the highest levels of sperm are collected. So, if treatment won't be given for a while, you can try this schedule. But most times, guys just have to try and collect their sperm no matter what's happened prior to that time. You'll obtain the sample by masturbating, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. It's important that the sample be frozen without anything else that could contaminate it. Your hands and penis should be clean. The specimen should be collected in a container provided by the clinic. You should not use a condom or any lubricant, and that includes saliva when masturbating. Now make sure you don't touch the inside of the container. And if you happen to miss the container or spill semen for some other reason, don't try to put the spilled semen into the cup. Just inform the lab staff about the spill. If you live far away from a collection center or are already staying in the hospital, a private room will be made available for you to produce a sample. Now, if you live close to the hospital or sperm bank, you may decide to collect your sperm at home in the privacy of your room. When collecting at home, once you have the semen in the container, place it upright in a plastic bag with the lid securely tightened and keep the container next to your body while delivering it to the clinic so that it stays at body temperature. This temperature is the best to keep the sperm alive and moving. Also, you want to make sure that the collection container is not cracked or leaking. And finally, it's important that you get the sample to the lab within an hour of ejaculation so that it can be frozen before the sperm die. If you're collecting the sample at the sperm bank, you can give the sample to the lab workers or simply ring the bell and leave your sample in the collection room when you're done. The sperm bank employees will let you know how they operate. 